I finally have my own hardware synthesizer. The only little problem is that it came in a box and I have to assemble it myself. Could be fun, could be a disaster, we'll see what's gonna happen. What's up everyone, I'm Busy List and welcome to my channel which is all about music production, sound design, Ableton, life and all things related and as you will probably see in a moment, a little bit of electronics as well. I am a technician of electronics but I haven't done any projects in years so this seems to be quite cool, fun and uh, exciting. So what it is? It is electro synth that comes in a box, so you can build it yourself, little soldering skills probably will be uh, necessary or crucial comes in the price of about a 20 something uh, euros it's probably the same in dollars but luckily it doesn't seem like it's a very complicated thing it only has some couple of the elements speaker battery box and uh, a little knob and it, it will be built into a little box that we will just open in a moment and see what's inside so basically it promises to bring me back to the 80s by building my own working hardware synthesizer i'm quite excited let's just basically without further ado open it and Let's see how it works. Let's open the box and see what's inside. I saw a little tape here. Okay. Seems like an, it's an empty box with some holes uh, in it for the buttons, probably. Goes like that. Okay, there's an casement. You can see the holes for the speakers. And there's a tiny little speaker and some elements here. Okay, so let's just take these out here for a moment. Okay, and let's unpack them now. So this is, seems to be a main PCB with some elements and the keyboard here. See, lovely. Let's stick on the side here. We have some tiny elements. There's not so many of them, actually. You see the main knob, the switch. We see some LEDs, four micro switches, and then some mounting accessories, tiny little screws and this double-sided tape, double A battery case for three batteries, little speaker, the knob, little wire. That's all what's in the box so it shouldn't be too difficult. The first step is to screw the circuit board to the lid of the cardboard case. Let's install this as instructed like that. holding well the first element screwed in perfect now what should do let's solder all these push buttons let's first install them here in these little holes okay, perfect Don't uh, judge my skills. My skills are very rusty. Yeah, we're gonna make it work. Okay, so we have four switches already soldered in. So blue in the top hole, like so. And the green one in the lower hole here. Okay, we got the LEDs. Now the loudspeaker. Okay, the speaker mounted. Okay, so. Okay, perfect. Now, so let's make sure it faces the off position. So. Now oh, let's use the double-sided tape to glue in this battery box, like so. Black one goes to the minus. This one goes to the potentiometer. Okay, all the soldering done, all the job done. 
Now we just need to test it. Okay, so let's pop some batteries in it. And let's see if it even works. Okay, so let's turn it on. Okay, we got the lights. So now let's uh, hear it. Okay, cool. So we have some buttons here, <laughs> obviously. These are some buttons. So this one, those sharps are flat. So let's try. Cool. This one does some octave. Okay, so it raises the octave. And these two are controlling the sound. So we have the tremolo here. Let's try to press. Okay, we see the LEDs blinking a little bit. Very fast tremolo. Okay, but each time we press, it gets slower. Haunted sound. Okay, let's go. A very slow tremolo. Oh, cool. If we press just a tiny bit of the of the field, it gives this effect as well. Distorted chip tune. But this one does the uh, envelope. What does it do actually? Which is weird. More like an LFO to the volume. And this one does like the LFO to the pitch. Yeah. This tremolo basically changes the pitch. Like the tremolo. Kind of. And then envelope changes the volume envelope. And it's obviously a monophonic synthesizer. Not a surprise anyway. Let's turn the volume up a little bit. Okay, everything seems to be working, which seems to be a really cool electronics product, which didn't take me too long. I think I made it in less than half an hour. So it wasn't really that bad, very simple, working fine, actually. Nothing should go wrong with this really cool product. But if this sound seems to be too basic, you can always design some cool fallout radioactive effects to this sound and to any other sound that you can design yourself in Ableton. And in order to do that, just watch this video next. Now, thanks so much for watching. See you guys next video. Cheers.